Hello YouTube, Wycliffe Barrett here, x -Plane Dedicated. Today we're in Bella Coola, which is in the northwest Pacific area of the Rocky Mountains. Absolutely beautiful area, and this scenery has been done by Betty-X.com. Betty-X.com, don't worry, I'll put all the links below. Here we've got a map from the... Uh, details and the red line area it, that is the area covered by photo scenery which is around about 275 square kilometers the green line is the area which is covered in uh, high density photo real scenery which is at two centimeters per pixel which is very very fine indeed here you see me on the ground in x-plane 10 this has been produced for x-plane 10 and x-plane 11 and first of all we're going to have a look at x-plane 10 as you see me coming in over the top of the buildings very nicely drawn very high definition this is uh, probably uh, some of the best scenery that is available. It is payware. You can get it from betty-.com or you can get it from xplane.org. I think the price is $24 and uh, that works out at around about £19.48 in sterling. Beautiful little area. Um, if you like bush flying, this is the place to go. CYBD is the airport that we're at and it's located uh, 11 kilometers northeast of Bella Coola, British Columbia, Canada. The town of Bella Coola is close to the uh, stunning and vast Tweedsmuir Park and set within a lush valley in between stunning mountain ranges. And as you can see here, the valley is absolutely beautiful. There are, there are millions of trees. I cannot tell you how many trees there are. There are absolutely millions. Uh, I'm using SkyMax Pro 4 with real weather connector and FSGRW and so that's what is depicting the weather for me as you can see here it looks absolutely brilliant there's a faithful replica of the real airport with high definition buildings and pre-rendered ambient occlusion the airport surroundings with uh, handcrafted ground imagery with a resolution of two centimeters per pixel this is really fine detail stuff and uh, you can really see that there's also winter available but you do need jsgme with winter 1.1 and the cybd winter file it's all included in the download there are instructions how to install it all it's very very easy and takes no time at all as you can see here the winter is depicted really really well snow covered mountains as you would expect in this region of canada also the reason why you have to have the winter 1.1 1 .1, um, package is that the CYBD winter package blends with that otherwise you would have straight lines where uh, CYBD winter ends and explain summer exists so it's a little bit confusing but I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll understand it when you read the instructions as I say it's all in the manual you cannot go wrong just as a matter of interest in the 2008 movie the incredible hulk the main character bruce banner slash hulk uh, concludes the plot by escaping to bella Coola, where he attempts to control his transformations and in actual fact significant amounts of the film were actually shot in this area uh, in bella Coola, which is as i say rather interesting Talking about uh, these trees here, Peter Kubek, who is the developer, has uh, had hand-placed 3D animated trees and custom objects put throughout the whole area, which is really, really quite something. It's a, a major feat. Each building has active collision um, activated, which means that you can land helicopters on some of the buildings, which uh, is not something you can always do in a lot of sceneries. Uh, you do need to put your rendering options to extreme um, to see all of this uh, but has no effects on FPS uh, and even though I'm in the default Cessna I've flown in here in some uh, payware general aviation aircraft and it's exactly the same so here you see uh, the winter at Bella Coola as we land there on runway 23. Absolutely stunning. I really, really do like this. Well worth the money, I believe. So it's a hand edited mesh. Uh, so there's perfect roads and there's power lines everywhere. It just looks absolutely incredible. A few moments later. Ah, a few moments later, and we've moved into X Plane 11 now. So it's one installation uh, in each x-plane 10 and x-plane 11 uh, you can see the difference with x-plane 11 you've got the, the haze and the reflection off the aircraft there as we 
pan around but the buildings are exactly exactly the same buildings they just look a little bit sharper uh, in X-Plane 11. Uh, I'm going to come in and do the same zoom over the top of the terminal you look at the telegraph lines are really thin well drawn and as we fly up the valley here at Bella Coola just having a quick look around uh, the cockpit and outside looking at all those hand placed trees again the uh, mesh the train mesh here is absolutely superb and uh, if you see any pictures of Bella Coola area it does look very much like this and in fact already somebody has said on X Plane dedicated Facebook page they fly into Bella Coola and they find this very very good representation so you can't get better than that that's a good recommendation I'll put all links to this in the bottom in the description so I'll put in the links for uh, where you can get this from Betty slash doc betty slash x.com explain.org i put the links in so you can find jsgme and also winter 1.1 i put all of that in the bottom in the description even though it's inside the manual I'm just flying up the valley here and uh, well sorry back towards the airport as it comes out of the haze you look over on the left hand side there as the mountains come down to the valley floor you've got that kind of bluey haze uh, visibility there I did try to find snowfall here uh, unfortunately yesterday when I did this film in the weather was bright and clear and sunny although very very cold um, so unfortunately no snow was falling I did try to uh, activate the snow but uh, I've not yet got used to explain 11 where you can do that anyway never mind we'll uh, have a look at what it looks like with snow in a moment or two let's uh, just sit back relax and enjoy the landing Once again I've turned on the winter textures here in X-Plane 11 and uh, as I uh, organised this weather uh, for this little takeoff, you can see there's quite a bit of turbulence. The aircraft is bouncing around a little bit, uh, quite manageable, but uh, it was bouncing around a little bit and I was having to keep control of what was going on. Just uh, one thing to note here is the buildings, you should see the snow on them, it's, it's not just blanket white bits of snow it's actually um, you know it's like you may have snow on half the roof and not the top half so it's really well drawn as if snow has blown off the roof uh, also this is a nice touch here if you look at the shadows of the trees there right underneath the aircraft so the sun coming from the uh, right hand side I think and casting those shadows to the left I'm just coming in for my landing now once again on runway 23 as I come back up the valley um, this is the uh, regular approach at runway 23 follow the river up the valley uh, to CYBD it's um, it's easy to lose the airport especially in winter you know is you, and if, it, if the visibility is a bit low it's pretty difficult to see it something you've got to practice but is actually immense fun so as we come into land I keep quiet just for a moment or three and then we'll be coming towards the end of the video this is an excellent scenery as we come into land on runway 23 the wind blowing me about a little bit if you like bush flying then this is the place for you to uh, certainly try that out uh, Bella Coola as I say it's $24 
and that's £19.48 in English money. A really good value for money for what you get. It's a very, very good uh, package, and well done to Betty X dash.com betty dash x.com this is Wycliffe Barrett x plane dedicated i hope you've enjoyed the review we'll see you again soon take care cheerio